the other things, it's not just TVs that are the, the TV that is dominating the media right now is man movies. Oh yeah, everything's coming out this season. You know, I got no kidding. May first, you know that can't get here any faster. Yeah. So the the big uh, the elephant in the room, as it were, is Avengers Two: Age of Ultron. Yeah. I just. Man, I, I guarantee by now everybody has seen the trailer, so that's pretty much all we have to say is, man, Avengers 2, Age of Ultron, and everybody's going, yes, I can't wait. Oh. And there's so many questions leading up to what's going to happen, how it's going to you know, affect the universe. It's and where it goes. Where it goes, yeah. <laughs> there's a little, don't know, there's just so much going on there, you know. Mm-hmm. And Ultron's pretty cool, you know. At least they're kind of... I think they're using some of that stuff from the 70s of Ultron. Yeah. More than just, you know, it's going to be, who knows? I don't yeah. even want to comment yet. Until yeah. Then. This is just a trailer. It's always seen. Yes. How can you judge a movie from a trailer? Exactly. Speaking of another movie trailer we just saw. Yes, uh, Ant-Man, which I got to say, I am honestly really, uh, you know, looking forward to this one. I think Ant-Man, for a lot of people, had that same feel uh, as Guardians of the Galaxy when we first saw that. It's like, I've never heard of these guys. I... How, how good's it gonna be, Ant Man? I mean, seriously, Ant Man. He's a man. He freaks down. His, but you see the preview for it, and you see the storyline for it, and you, you get that Guardians of the Galaxy feel again, where it's just like, it's gonna sneak up on you. And, you and they kind of stretch the continuity out a little bit, which I yes. kind of like too, because it's gonna tie in with some of the stuff. Because actually, Agent Carter will tie into with this pretty heavily. Is what yes, been which just shows Marvel's mastery of that whole media. It's just. Take a little bit from the TV, take a little bit from the movies, you know, and it's just, it's been fantastic. And Ant-Man looks really good. I think one of the big selling points for me on Ant-Man is honestly Paul Rudd. I, 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 I love Paul Rudd. I think he's a fantastic actor. And knowing what I know about, you know, I don't read Ant-Man, but, you know, I, I know enough going into this one as opposed to Guardians of the Galaxy, which I'll be honest with you, I hadn't read in ever. You know, I maybe had one or two. But I, I knew this, you know, I knew enough, you know, about the team to look forward to it. It's the same thing with Ant Man. I know enough about Ant Man from the Avengers comic books to really. It should to be interesting to see if Man Shrink Down to Ant and how they use the lenses. Because oh, I heard yeah. that he used the lenses to make all the shots different and, like, so he can really make it look like he was an Ant Man. Yeah. Yeah, we're. It, I, I'm really looking forward to it because it's it's such a leap in special effects. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with the wayback machine on this. I remember the one of the last movies I saw that had the the shrinking thing was Lily Tomlin's The Incredible Shrinking Woman, which you ever got a chance to see? Man, look that up. That is a comedic masterpiece. But it was one of those ones where it's like, oh, we're gonna put her in a giant set of a dollhouse to show she's shrunk. And I've seen that large telephone out at Universal. Yes, you know, it's like, I'm trying to make a phone call, hand me that pencil. Tick, 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 tick. This is a, the kid. Yeah, she's, she's doing a rotary phone, for those of kids out there who don't know what I'm talking about. There, there used to be these things called rotary phones that plugged into a wall. They didn't go anywhere. And you didn't press buttons, you had to turn a dial. Which would have been really hard if you were shrunk, because she had like a pencil and she was doing this. But yeah, just you know, it was like that was one of the first things I thought about was, Ant-Man, oh god, it's gonna be a shrinking movie. But it looks, it looks fantastic. And, you know, the suit had me, you know, and you gotta love their their campaign. When they the the first uh, trailer teaser of the movie came out, it was that big. <laughs> that was that was pre, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who watched that going. <laughs> okay, I see the suit. You know, and the tra- and the, the lobby poster was cool because oh, it yeah, was like he the- was shrunk. <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah, we're we're definitely looking forward to find out if Ant Man has the uh, the power behind it. You know, the the sucker punch, if you will, that uh, Guardians of the Galaxy did, or it just is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, sooner or later. I mean, you you have to take the good with the bad. It can't all be you know Guardians of the Galaxy, but you know, going into it with high hopes or Avengers. Or Avengers, uh, I just I can't I can't I can't imagine living in a world where Avengers two's fails. I just that'll shatter my 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 small little fragile geek ego. It's just I can't imagine. And um, let's see the other thing to look forward to in twenty fifteen or twenty fifteen. There's that Fox movie coming out. Yeah, which we were already talking about. I don't know. Trailer looks halfway decent. Yeah, the Fantastic Four. Yeah, and. I, and I don't want to eat tongue, but you know, never know. I didn't really badmouth it. I just didn't know for sure. I really 
now I kind of want to see it. That one really, really had the feel of, oh man, the license is almost up. We need to th throw together a movie. But, like you said, the trailer looked. Uh, even, if, even if it wasn't just because don't, they don't really kick you in the face with Fantastic Four. It just looks like a good, solid science fiction movie. And it looks more uh, shaky cam look to it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Shaky cams can be good, can be bad. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Also 2015, I think 2015, 16. Uh, Batman, Superman. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Who knows? Yeah. Mm. That's I don't. That's uh -huh. a wait. And that's that's sad to say because everybody who watches the show knows how much I love Superman. I could I don't don't care. I'm I'm still filing my petition. I start a Twitter campaign, or whatever. I I want Booster Gold. <laughs> Be him on you know Arrow, Flash, whatever. Or Supergirl. Or Supergirl. Yes. Uh, Booster Gold. I have actually a feeling that they might include him with the Supergirl stuff. Oh, even if they got the guy from Smallville, that was still one of my favorite episodes. That was so good. That Booster Gold rocked. And they even had the t-shirt. In that episode, he was handing out t-shirts from the original yeah. old Booster Gold fan club. Oh, it was so brilliant. But yes, uh, Superman, Batman, yeah, it's a thing. It's going to happen. Booster Gold, let's make it happen. So, Rich, what's the big thing you're looking forward to in 2015? Mm. There's that little thing called uh, Christ, or Secret Wars, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't tip crisis. <laughs> <laughs> crisis in Marvel universes, if and then, you will. And then DC's got their little thing going on, too. Yeah, so, Convergence. The only thing is, I don't have no money, so this, this is going to be a weird year for me. It's going to be, oh, man. I, 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 I probably sound like a broken record, and it's, it's gone down ever since then. But, you know, in years past... I've, I've, I find myself buying less and less just because things don't interest me as much anymore. I can't, honestly, I'm sorry, I'm going to take a lot of people off. I can't remember the last X-Men book I bought. I don't remember the last Avengers book I bought. I do want to see the Inhumans stepping on top of the X-Men. That would be good. Because they, be. they do have that, that teaser. So. We did get to see We did get to see the return of uh, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, last year. Oh, yeah. It's so far even carrying on to 2015, the but the uh, the Spider Verse. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully, I guess kind of swept out. <laughs> I do too, but it's so f it it's, it reminds me of what I used to love about the Spider-Man books was the fun behind it. You know, there's there's a great dramatic elements to the book, but I mean seriously, we got Spider Ham, we got Spider Ham uh, fighting alongside you know British Spider-Man. That's just that's just fun stuff. It was enjoyable. And Uncle Ben. And Uncle. Yeah. See, well, uh, see what I'm saying. Multiple <laughs> universes. He and Gwen Stacy. It was bound to happen, but yeah, but yeah, you're absolutely right. There's so much going on this year in comic books crossovers. Just can't wait till the blink and all goes away. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I'm being down, but <laughs> they could pull a Scarlet Witch. No more mutants. Basically, knows. is what they're doing. <laughs> like, yeah. No more the last three years history. The Beyonders are back. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, plenty to look forward to in TVs, movies, comic books. Oh, the one thing I do have to talk about real quick, speaking of comic books and reboots, was the big controversy we talked about before about uh, Star Wars oh, yeah. getting picked up by Marvel. Um, it ticked a lot of people off because it pretty much... E Dark e Horse is gone. Dark Horse is gone. The, the history, the continuity, the canon of all of that, completely gone. I went into it with, you know, a chip on my shoulder about it, but I will, I, I do have to admit though, issue one was was good. Well, it was Jason Aaron, so yes. it can't be too bad. It was, it was nice picking up the book and reading it and feeling like you were really reading the continuation of Han, Leia, Luke, Chewie. It, it, but, it did. But Matt Fraction was doing a good job too. He was, don't get me wrong. Because you know, he's on the show talking about that. Yes, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm glad all, all the Dark Horse stuff was fantastic. That was one of the few things Star Wars related that I still would spend money on. I let me. I'll just say this though: as for for being what it is, at least you know the the Star Wars books so far are in good hands and have been enjoyable so far. So, well, we got a lot to talk about this year. So yeah, keep coming back. Um, not sure when the episodes will be up. Hopefully every other Monday or so. But mm -hmm. we'll we'll get some out there. 
So yeah. And by the way, uh, thank you for watching and liking the show. Uh, get a chance to like the Facebook page. Uh, don't forget, we want your you know your input. What are you looking forward to in 2015? What books are you reading? What TV shows are you enjoying? Why are you enjoying them? Is there something that we don't talk about that you think we should talk about? Comment, like us, email us, all that jazz, all the, what is it, Twitter and all that stuff you, you kids do, because I'm playing the age card here. It's like the Tweeties and the Twitter, all that stuff. Get a hold of us. We love to hear from you. So He doesn't use his Twitter. I don't use my Twitter. I think I told like two knock-knock jokes on it about four years ago when I signed up, and that's what I got, <laughs> that's what I got this guy for. So, yeah, stay tuned. There's plenty of uh, great stuff coming in 2015, so don't miss it. Thank you.